Hi everyone, welcome back to Kaizen Tech. So, the Dell S2415H monitor has been with me around one month and it's my daily driver and I really love this monitor. This is a 23.8 inch monitor and I really love the design for this. Now, let's look at the specification for, for this monitor. The response time for this monitor is 6 milliseconds and the screen for this monitor is AHIPS with glossy surface the resolution support is 1980x1080 at 60Hz and the color support for this monitor is 16.7 million this monitor do come with an adjustable stand but is only able to adjust back and forth so if you are looking for a monitor that can adjust for up and down so this is not the model that you are looking for the area around the screen and back cover is finished with matte surface, which is pretty good. Personally, I am more prefer with this type of surface because it can reduce the visibility of fingerprint when you accidentally touch the surface. The border for this monitor is greatly designed as well. With 0.5 cm thin bezel, it offers seamless and good looking for your computer setup. This will definitely give up the best experience when you are running for multiple monitor setup for this design. For those who have limited space for their setup, this monitor offers a built-in speaker, which is a good feature in saving up some space on your desk. The built-in speaker is dual built-in 3W uh, speaker. The quality is pretty good for daily use in my opinion. I believe this will add on some consideration point for those people who doesn't want to get external speaker. So I will record the video directly from the monitor for you, for your reference. Okay, so I'm playing a video, uh, you, sorry, the sound from audio library from YouTube. Yeah, so this is the sound directly from the monitor. Come to the port for this monitor. It has one VGA port, one HDMI, one audio in, and one headphone jack where you can find it on site for easy accessibility. Pretty nice place to put the headphone jack, so you no need to move to the back of your monitor to plug in. Okay, it's time for the back side. Uh, don't got me wrong, I mean behind the, of the monitor. From the back of the monitor, you can see a beautiful glossy Dell logo. The middle square box that you see is where you attach your stand to your monitor. And the port access where you can find it on bottom is covered by a cover. This allows us to hide the cable and provide a better cable management on this monitor. To remove the cover, you can push the lock on top of it. Mm, sometimes you need to put harder to remove it. Okay, now you can access the port in this monitor. The thinness for this monitor is around 3 to 4 cm and it can use up your space including the stand from back to front for around 18 cm. On bottom right of your monitor is the menu of function access to this monitor. It is a touch sensor which means it doesn't come with a physical button but the sensitivity is quite nice where the response is still acceptable. From the menu, you can access to all the settings in this monitor like the preset mode which allow you to change your screen to gaming mode, multimedia, movie, papers, and etc. You can also adjust the volume for the speaker over here. And this is how you adjust the brightness for your monitor by pressing the up and down key over here, you can adjust the brightness. And if you notice that the noise energy used on top, it will reduce accordingly. And they also come with a setting called response time where you can set it to fast or normal. And also the sharpness for the monitor. The expert ratio for the monitor as well where you can set it from white 16.9 to 4.3 or 5.4. And the last button will be the on off button. And uh, yeah, you can see my reflection where because of the glossy screen on, the, on this monitor. The cons for this monitor is the glossy screen. Because of the glossiness, it reflects most of the light source around the monitor. Especially when you are watching a movie which is showing in dark screen, you can easily see your reflection appear on screen. Well, 
I'm not going to act together with the character while I'm enjoying the movie actually, right? But this is definitely the exchange for the high quality display because matte display is definitely not able to present the best quality display compared with glossy display. Okay, every monitor need installation and the installation for this monitor is actually quite simple. The stand comes with two parts and what you have to do is to join this part together like in show in the video. Okay, tighten the screw on bottom to make sure the stand doesn't fall apart. And next step is to place the stand on behind of your monitor. Remember to place the right place for this stand according to the edge and pin on the stand. Move it, move it down until a clip sound is here and yeah, you are done with your installation. Of course, don't forget to plug in your power cable and display cable to this monitor before use. And yeah, that's all for my review on my daily driver Dell S2415H monitor. I hope my review did deliver the information you are looking for. And thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and this, like this video if you like it. And feel free to drop your comments for this video as well. 再见. Uh, that's mean bye bye in Chinese. Okay, see you.